I didn't even know where the bios were coming from, but that's accurate. <clears throat> I'm Ted Bot, and I want to tell you a story about how four robots learned how to speak to each other by inventing their own language. But let me back up a little bit. When I was a kid, I may not have had a girlfriend at the time, but I had a dictionary, and I read it in the cafeteria, and in retrospect, those things could have been correlated. But I was fascinated by language. I was so curious about how language worked and where it came from, and at one point I invented my own language with a vocabulary and a grammar just to explore those curiosities. And you may not realize it, but constructed languages or conlangs is a thing that actually people have been doing for a while. There's even a society for it. Some lucky few people even get paid to do it, such as by creating the Dothraki language in Game of Thrones. But this is not how natural language works. The languages that we speak to each other on a daily basis are not invented by anybody. They emerge, and my question was, how does that happen? So I designed an experiment in language emergence. I built four robots, each with a microphone, a speaker, a light sensor, and a 16-node, two-layer neural network. This neural network, also known as a perceptron, one of the simplest possible neural networks, does one deceptively simple thing. It associates an input pattern with an output pattern. The input patterns in this case are some combination of changes in light and sound, like a, like a hand clap or a sudden change. Uh, and the output patterns are a sequence of short tones. Now, when they're first turned on, when the experiment is started, they all have randomized associations. They all have different words for the same things. And critically, when one of them detects a change in its environment, it says its current word for that thing. The others listen and learn from it. And this experiment worked. They managed to emerge their own language autonomously. And the question is, how? How did it work? Let me ask you a question. How do we know that these are all chairs? How do we know what a chair is? And even more difficult, how would we ever teach a computer to know what a chair is, to recognize a chair? We can't just do a massive if-then statement. If the input was off even slightly, the whole thing would fail. It would never work. What we need is a flexible system for associating input and output patterns. And neural networks are these pattern association machines. Neural networks have a lot of fascinating properties, but among them are the ability to be resilient to noisy input. The inputs can be off a little bit. They can be fuzzy. They can be different from each other. And they also train incrementally. This allows them to uh, avoid jumping to conclusions too quickly, to avoid flip-flopping from one thing to another. So back to our robots. When uh, on the left we have uh, some combination of, of features, a pattern. On the right we have an output, some sequence of tones. And when one of them detects a change, it says its current word for that thing. And the others listen and they update their own networks just a little bit. Their output patterns are now going to resemble the one that they just heard just a little bit more closely. If we put this whole thing on a loop, something magical happens. Gradually, over time, these words begin to evolve. They begin to merge into each other, uh, blend into each other. And in a remarkably short amount of time, they converge on one shared lexicon, the same words for the same things. And this is a lot like the Tower of Babel story, but in reverse. They begin with their languages confounded, with different words for the same things, unable to communicate with each other. But by their own nature, without guidance, they manage to end up with one shared speech, one shared language. Languages don't come from a dictionary. Dictionaries come from a language. Language is an accumulation of shared meaning. Let me leave you with one final thought. If we want to speak to each other, if we want to communicate, we don't need to invent a new language, even though it's fun. What we need to do always is listen to each other and learn from it. Thank you very much.